Hanged man. Hanged man. I don't want to do the main quest. Things look a little bit more different than usual. Everyone's crowding around this desk. I need a drink. I'm gonna need another one, thanks. If I could... I would go outside to the docks at night and try to kill all the gangs by myself, but I don't think I can. Hey, Isabella. I'm bored of this. We should do something fun. <laughs> uh, she was comforting me too, but she didn't expect that I would still be moping about my mother after all this time, I guess. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. I hear you and the Ravani have something going... So, what's going on, Hawk? Why are you asking? Well, well, well. I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. It's the chest hair, isn't it? <laughs> Women can never resist my chest hair. Unfortunately, it's not to be. I'm spoken for. Uh, Bianca stands in my way again, does she? What can I say? She's the jealous type. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Isabella is a great girl. But I think you're likely to get hurt. By which I mean stabbed and left for dead. That is a concern. I think she... Hmm. She certainly has more deceptive layers to her than everyone else, I think. All the other people, they have their own problems with... I don't know, being... Years of being a slave, or dealing with blood magic, or having a spirit inside them, whatever. Isabella doesn't have these things, but she feels, she can feel quite distant. She's not willing to um, really let the true her come out that much, but um, we'll see. I know you mean well, Varric. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I certainly hope so. If it doesn't pan out, I mean, we can always just be single. That's totally a thing. Oh wow, we were just talking about this here while she's <laughs> she's right there. You want a pint while we're here, Hawk? I'll buy. I do. I do, but I don't think Mother would want to see me moping around, not being myself anymore. So let's. Well, let's go to. Hold up. Go to Aveline. Oh. Yeah, I thought Varric was gonna talk to me about Mother, but I guess not. I don't want to do the main quest, though. Eveline. The world moves on. The world doesn't revolve around your suffering, and so everyone else is back to their normal routine. I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? My mother is dead. My heart's broken. I suppose I could say, at least you knew yours. But that seems more about me than you. I just mm. have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? 
what she said just now was opposite of what Isabella did. Remember Isabella was like, hey, at least she loved you. Same kind of thing. But I appreciate whatever anybody says. I think I appreciate the sentiment. It doesn't really matter too much the words you use. You've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me, stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. That big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks, I read to him. I had to take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak, or if it was the old game. He smiled at that, at his big girl. <sighs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. Drink? You're telling me because... Yeah, we all... Everyone struggles with loss in some way, although I do feel like someone naturally dying of being old versus what happened with mother is, um... There's gonna be a layer there that nobody else can understand. A glass for those we've lost. <sighs> All right then. Benoit Dulac and Leandra Hawke. Don't let anyone tell you when to move on. Take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her too. Thank you, Aveline. <sighs> you... Man, now that Bethany is gone... In our original crew... Wesley's gone, Carver's gone, Leandra's gone. You're the only one I've got left, Aveline. And I would be okay with uncle moving in with me, to be honest. I think everyone's hurting. Mm. Oh yeah, I was gonna go talk to the Aeroshock and all that, right? I guess we can try doing that. I need a break, I don't care. Why do I care about anything in Kirkwall anymore? Seriously. Like, actually, <laughs> seriously. I don't- I just wanna run away and... What's the point of anything? The only thing, the only reason why I want to continue is because I think if my mom were here, she would tell me to continue. Bring Fenris. Beric. Sebastian. Oops. Are you here, Arashok? I wonder how Troy is doing too. Troy, the other person we have left. So you could not rescue my delegate, but you killed those responsible. How do you explain the condition of their bodies? A fanatic used them to incite others of his kind. I accept that. I expected worse. I have seen every vice and weakness of your kind. And how few of you take responsibility. Your Viscount remains a fool. But you are not. Panahedan, Hawk. I will keep one good thought about your kind. The Kunari respect honesty. They respect that you respect them. And they don't really do the whole mind game business. That's the sense I get. Go, Hawk. Another time. Okay, well, at least he knows. I wasn't trying to trick him or anything. And I'm very sorry about the Canaries. Except you for now. Okay. The docks, right? Hold up. Let's see here. You need a little bit more cunning, Beric. Kickback? As Merchant Prince, Varric knows that sometimes you need a well-placed bribe, and sometimes you need a well-placed bolt. Mm-hmm. Backlash. Even greater wallop, and Varric can now use it more frequently. Okay, fantastic. 
Let's make it nighttime. So that we can get the gang here. Is that cool? I just want to spend a little bit of time here and cool down first, and then we'll go back. Uh, usually, if there's a gang here, my party members would say, Are they here? They are. Undercut Thrifter. Oh, that's a waste. I didn't need to do that for that guy. Ooh! Nice skills, Fenris. Oh, they're rogues. This is gonna be annoying. Get him. Well, that's one. Uh... Okay, I exited the map so that I could go back to the docks and spawn in more people. I am at the disused passage and there's random people here. Are there gangs here as well, or... What's going on here? This is just a random mercenary? Maybe? I came here- oh. Waxler's hat. Smells of cheap ale. Not sure where this person is, but they want their hat back. Okay. Came here because I thought there was, um... Wasn't there a merchant here that we should be looking at? It's late. I should get home. Yeah, Bunny Lem. You find thick? You got anything? The heavens is answer. Fancy sounding... Name. Nothing special, though. These are... These seem really fancy. Okay. I saw that I have a um, new armor I can equip. Yeah, it looks the same as before, basically. Exact same. I like this one the best, but it's time for a change. That's fine. And then the gloves are also better. In terms of weapons and stuff, this one might be better than the superior Dwarven Dagger, a little bit, but I'm okay with what I have right now. The rune makes it a little bit better, I think. Sebastian, we're good. Yeah, I'll keep the rest of this stuff. Okay, if there's nobody here, I will get back to killing Doc, guys. The lowdown. Directions to the undercuts his base. We took a piece of the docks and we ain't giving it up. Anyone comes to this base, Kanki wants them dead. He don't care what they're selling. The undercuts. This one actually only had three or four gangs. It wasn't that much, but I ran into um sort of bug in the middle where I defeated a gang and then it turns out I didn't really defeat them because one guy was hiding all the way in the corner and then I walked all over the map like five times wondering how come no one's spawning. But it just turns out that... It was because one guy was stuck somewhere. So that was fun. Now we have their number. The docks isn't actually that big. So I guess it doesn't really make sense that there's five or six gangs. Yeah, like I fought the I fought the group of dudes right here, and it turns out there was a guy all the way at the bottom there behind those crates. He just wasn't helping his friends. There was more! Spoke a little bit too soon. Get him, get him. These guys are actually kind of weak in that we can finish a wave before the next wave comes in. Look at that. Come on. Don't hurt my people. You happy? Because I'm coming to your base. Right now. Get him.
A star is next to an item shows... What did it just say? Did you see that loading screen? That was the first time I saw it. It shows the item's power relative to your current item's level, did it say? Is there a place where you can actually see that? Because I don't feel like it ever taught me that. Maybe hidden somewhere in the tutorials. Dude! This guy's like... Get him. Hey! Fenris! Leave some fun for me! Damn. Did it all by himself, basically. We happy? Clearly not, because the quest update hasn't popped up yet. Are we done? Yeah, that's what I thought. I know how you work by now. If the quest pop-up doesn't come up, we're not done. Fantastic, Venerous! Man, I don't know what skills we gave you, but clearly we're doing some good work. No, no, <laughs> look! Whole bunch of people right there. I'll deal with it. If you're gonna spawn waves of enemies, at least you can make them work properly. Come on. Who is doing a skill that's turning us all like half invisible? I'm actually not sure. It's like a support skill, right? Oh, look, there's even more. Just hurry up and get out of here. I'm. Uh, although I do, I do have to say, I I actually feel better after fighting a whole bunch of these enemies. Just a little bit of um, mindless killing. Can you guys all please come out in one go? They're so spread out. Are we done? We're still not done. Seriously? Why are there so many guys? We still haven't gotten the quest pop-up yet. See, this is what I mean by everything is a bit... Hmm. It's a little bit buggy because the guys are not spawning or maybe they're around the corner. Somewhere. The fight's not triggering properly. We can't leave. Because we're not done. They better be behind that little spot there. They are! I'm done. You're making me walk too much. Are we done? Thank you. Aside from a few stragglers, the undercuts are keeping a low profile. So I'm kind of a little bit, um, we haven't had any movement on these quests for a while now. Search Kirkwall for more assassins hunting sketch, and then destroy the tomes. The hat, I don't even know whose hat it is. But I guess, yeah, I'll keep on a lookout. If not, maybe I'll just go look up how to progress it later on. But, um... Yeah, I feel a little bit better after spending a bit of time just killing baddies on the streets. I think I'm ready to get back to it now. Let's go to the Hanged Man, get my rewards, and go to the Viscount. <laughs> Was that guy there before? Did you see all this massacre? We did all that for what? Like one sovereign? Well, I feel... Psychologically a little bit more balanced. That's the effect. So, choir boy, this usurper of yours is uh, 20 feet tall? Not even close, no. But he has claws for hands, right? Fingers. Perfectly normal ones. If a little fat, perhaps. He eats babies, though, and farts fire. <laughs> You're not serious, I hope. <laughs> You can't even pretend to be interesting, can you? <laughs> Not everybody's a liar like you, Varric. I removed another bunch of lowlifes. Good on you, Sarah Hawk. We friends are indeed friends of yours. I have no idea this is the best tavern what that in means. Another time, I could use some Hawk. cute dwarven serving girls, but otherwise, it's perfect. 
So I got three of them now, three separate gangs in three levels. Is that all? Maybe I'll have to check later on. I feel like before Deep Roads, we had three as well, so this should be it. But from the way she was talking just now, maybe not. Hello, got your hat. I think you let this get away from you. Simple as that? Just a walk and drop? Amazing. You're welcome. Okay, let's get going. Daytime, it's a new day. If I have nothing else to live for, then I have to live for myself. Viscount? I'm sorry, I forgot what your letter said already. Go to the Viscount's keep and speak with him about an urgent personal matter. Personal? So not about Kirkwall? Demons. That is... Outside the purview of my position, thank you very much. Hmm. Hi. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please. Sir Hawk. Convince Seamus to come home. I should have guessed. What else could personal matter have meant? The Arashok says nothing good about Kirkwall, yet he accepts conversions? I cannot understand him. Maker knows I've tried, but he landed with, what, a few hundred men? Add up the deaths and defections, and the Arishok must need to bolster his ranks. I'm sure my son is quite the symbolic prize. But they're not recruiting, they're just waiting for people to come. They're not going on the streets being like, Hey everybody, follow the coon, right? So that kind of makes it hard to argue against. Did anyone else see him leaving for the compound? He made no secret of it. I'm sure he intended it as another of his statements about closer relations. Your example inspired him. I might agree, but now is not the time. These matters are... delicate. He's politically dangerous, you mean? The office must remain strong, Sir Hawk. Tough being the Viscount's son. He is of age. The decision seems rightly his. I want to let him find his way, but in my position, he's taken a great deal of inspiration from you. I want to allow his idealism, but not blindly. At best, my opponents will claim that my office is now in Kanari hands. At worst, I lose my son. You're in a bit of a tough bind, I understand. Why do you keep saying he's following my example? I don't follow the Kun. I haven't... I've just treated the Kunari neutrally, basically. Although, the Aeroshock does seem to respect me, so maybe that part inspires Seamus. Yeah, I don't... <sighs> you know this will only end in trouble. Fitting. That's where it started. My son is not foolish. He will listen to reason, and you are in the best position to offer that opportunity. Please, do what you can. So you want me to go to the compound then? I didn't see him when I was there earlier. Was he there already? Yes. Did he go voluntarily? He was definitely sympathizing with um, Kunari quite a bit. Good day, sir. But he should understand that what he's doing right now would be putting his father in a um, tough bind. Ambush! Mercenaries have blocked the street. Winding alley. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the guys further ahead. That's how dazed I feel about everything with my mother. I'm just walking blindly into traps now. My skills are eroding. Penris! Mm -hmm. A little circle above people's heads. I don't even know what that is. They're trying to block me from getting into the compound? The helm. Oh, I think I got the gloves earlier. 
Bonus to pick locking. This one gives me more mana. Mana, stamina. Yeah, I was looking at the armor again, because I, um... I had to reload earlier, because I thought the um, thugs were bugged up. And it looks like... This one... Like, this is the new one, the 197 one. It's nice, but... The one I'm wearing right now gives me 38 mana, which I feel like is worth it in the long run, so I'm not sure about this set, again, for the same reason. But I guess it would be nice to have a set here, if we can get it going on. Helm, we got the... Gloves. Oh, we got the boots too! I hadn't realized. So where's the armor piece? Hopefully I didn't sell it already. So who hired that lot? Someone anti-Kunari, anti-Viscount? Or Seamus himself not wanting to be rescued? Seamus isn't the type. Let's go. Would Seamus even have the resources? It could be Mother Patrice. I don't know how she would have found out, but it could be. If I were Mother Patrice, what would I want happening here? Not sure if I know. Yeah, because, okay, she finds out that Seamus is coming here. But she might want to make it look like Seamus was kidnapped. All are forbidden, except you, for now. Any chance but was the he, though? Give us the Viscount's son? Where is he? I don't see him. Sarah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Ba still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. Can you let me speak to him? Let me speak and see if he really, really is doing this voluntarily. No doubt you see the advantage of having the Viscount's son at arm's reach. He is no longer the Viscount's son. Vidithari give up their lives for the certainty only Kunari know. You would not take advantage of his connections? The Kuhn may demand that advantage, but I do not. It was his choice to be educated. He is not my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. What? Viscount said he's here? You're telling me he went to the Viscount? That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless oh, appeal, Oh, it's Mother Patrice! The Viscount has not tried to involve the Chantry before. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. Oh no, I think we need to get going. Yeah, because, okay, at this point, if Seamus dies, the Viscount would get mad because Seamus is his son. But even the Aeroshock might get mad because now Seamus is with the Kunari. Yeah, let's kill her. I've had about enough of Patrice. Several times over. A threat against Vidithari can have only one answer. I will suffer only one outcome. I will be watching, Hawk. The demand of the Kuhn is clear. It's okay, I don't like her either. I can't think of any reason why I'd want to spare her. But she is very scheming, so she might have... The last second before I swing my blade on her, she'll be like, Wait, wait! And she'll say a bombshell that'll make me want to spare her. Well, let's not get too hasty here. We're making a lot of assumptions. Let's just see what's happening. We better not be fighting in the Chantry. It's a sacred place. Oh no. You alive? Oh no! Sarah Hawk, look at what you have done. 
to pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. If I went back to the Arashok now and tell him what happened, I feel like he'll believe me. I literally just came to the Chantry because you told me to go to the Chantry. <sighs> You've been a headache. But to outright kill someone? That's new for you. He deliberately denied the Maker. How many would follow if he went unpunished? And yet, even this sympathizer will inspire vengeance when his brutal murder is exposed. You won't get the Kunari ousted. You'll get a slaughter. On both sides. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith. Starting with you. I welcome it. Come fight me, Mother Patrice. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die. Come fight me yourself, you coward. Hey, history of the Chantry. Read it later. All right, guys. Ah, but we... These are just citizens. So I don't feel great about killing them. But they're trying to kill us. So it's not like we have a choice. Mob leader. Uh, do you guys want to come help fight? That would be good. Oh, we need to get all of them. The leader is a little bit strong. A mob in numbers. We've been through this before. The fanatics were strong because there were so many of them. Oh no. Oh no. Do you no. see, Your Grace? Traitors attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted. All too well. Sebastian is here. You might not believe in me, but you believe in the character of Sebastian, don't you? Sebastian, say something! I want to say this, but I'm gonna go a little bit more diplomatic because I know that this Grand Cleric is... I don't think threatening her will do too much. Forgive me, Your Grace, but you must know the truth about what happened here. Don't you spout your Kunari filth! This is a hand of the Divine! I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Viscount Dumas' son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Canari convert. She knows. He came here to repent and was murdered. See, the Grand Cleric is not stupid. She knows that Patrice has a part in this. As long as we are respectful, I think she'll respond better to that. It's a ruse, Your Grace. Seamus was killed to set people against the Canari. This is no longer a matter of heathens squatting in the docks. People are leaving us to join them. And we must pray for them like any other. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sarah Hawk, you act on behalf of the Viscount? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? But I wanted to kill her myself. This isn't good enough. I want you dead. Oh! Oh! The Arashok. Coming to make the demand of the Kuhn known. We protect those of the Kuhn. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. Did the Grand Cleric know about the Kunari as well? 
I wonder if it was possible for that to go another way. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? Everywhere I look, it's personal suffering. My mother, your son. <sighs> I... Don't know about that. This is not over, Excellency. The city needs a leader. It does. And I am no longer that person. Please. Hawk. Leave me. I'm sorry about your son. 